honestly it's driving me kind kind of crazy hi guys welcome back to my channel and holy moly welcome to 2014 crazy blows my mind absolutely insane you may have noticed I've been a little absent I think the past two upload dates I upload every Monday and Friday and I think I haven't uploaded but honestly it was Christmas that's my favorite time of the year it's time to really just be with family and reflect on the year and reflect on you as a person and so that's what I was doing I kind of took a step back from YouTube but I am back and this month I want to try to dedicate the month of January to the obvious to New Year's resolutions you know making videos about how you can stick with them you know just just talking about our New Year's resolutions and, and talking about what inspires us and the first video that I wanted to do in that series, I wanted to keep really fun and lighthearted. Um, so I decided to do the by 2013 tag, which is created by I, I think it's I'm Tara Michelle. I'm Tara Michelle. So a fellow Tara. So I'm just gonna I have the questions right here on my computer and I'm gonna jump right into it. Question number one: what has changed the most in your life this year? And honestly, this has been the most life-changing year for me and it, it seems so crazy. I've never had a year where I've reflected so deeply on that year, but 2013 was, it was a phenomenal year for me as a growth, as a person. My entire life changed because my entire outlook changed. My, you know, I started in 2012, like I was really unhappy, I was exhausted, I was in a bad, deep place. I've told the story before, um, and I decided on the 1st, January 1st of 2013, that I was going to turn things around, I was going to make a business for myself, and I just went into it, like, 100% as fast as I could, just really dug into my passion for health and fitness and beauty and lifestyle, and, and just sharing with others and helping to inspire others, and the growth that has occurred in my life because of that, giving so much of myself to others has come back to me tenfold. I mean, I have spent the year reading tons of personal development and growing myself and my belief in myself. My belief in me is completely opposite of what it used to be. I, you know, I used to think like, maybe I'm not, you know, made, maybe I'm just not set out for this. I'm not good. I don't have the skills. And now I believe that I could put my mind to anything and I can achieve it. And I know I can be a good leader and I know I can create a strong business with a strong foundation. And I am just me. I have been the most, the thing that has changed most in 2013 right here. Number two, makeup product used throughout the whole year. Now, I did videos on this. If you saw the best of 2013 video, which I believe I uploaded, yeah, um, that's basically what I used all year. I showed you the things that that stuck with me all year that I that I grabbed every time I did my makeup. So you can go back and watch that video. But a lot of dark lips, a lot of bold lips, just a lot of fun lip color. Number three, most used purse. Sadly, I don't have a most used purse. I mean, I do, but it's it's nothing special. It's like a purse from, I don't even know, Ross or Walmart or wherever I bought it years ago. Favorite fashion trend of 2013. Now, I know a lot of people hate this, but I love it. And it was the crop tops, not the ones that are like right under your boobs, but the little like bandeaus, the classy, like the, with the straps and everything, not just like a bandeau but an actual you know straps and, and full coverage and then like high-waisted skirts and the reason I like these is because I feel like the top abs are is one of the most attractive areas for a woman so to see to have everything else like modestly covered up and then having that little peekaboo showing I think is gorgeous on a woman's body and as much as people hate it I hope it sticks around because I think it is beautiful and just so cute and I would love to wear more of that. Number five is favorite memory with your family and it would definitely be going back home where we're from for my daughter's birthday. We've been living 3,000 miles away from my family since I was 18 years old for six years and when I had my kids 
they haven't ever, ha they've never gotten to experience having a birthday surrounded by family and people who love them. It's always just been us or like a few friends, you know, come over and we have a cake. But this year we went to Florida and we celebrated my daughter's birthday. We threw her a big party, you know, everybody participated, all of her family, and I will never, ever forget that day for her. Number six, favorite memory with your friends. Honestly, as sad as it is, I don't get out a whole lot, but my favorite memory I think this year is when my friend had a baby. It was just such a, I think, life-changing experience for her because she wasn't really sure that she ever wanted to be a mother and it was kind of just something, you know, she was pregnant, she was miserable during her pregnancy, she wasn't excited yet really, and then she had the baby and it's like her entire world changed and just seeing that in another person because I remember experiencing something of the sort you know in my past when I had my first baby so seeing someone else that we're close to have that same experience was just it's something that I, I as weird as it sounds something that I hold dear to my heart number seven biggest bold makeup or biggest bold change in your makeup collection I haven't really done anything super bold. I mean, I did start wearing darker lips. I had never, I've worn bright lips and I've worn a red lip, but I've never worn like a deep, deep, like vampy color lip. And I did a lot of that this year. And then also I purchased my first higher end makeup item. So I purchased, you know, my Urban Decay Naked Palette and I, er I purchased, which isn't really high end, but the NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencils. Normally I am just you know I have whatever is at the drugstore so that was a bigger moment for makeup for me and and I remember buying it and being so happy that I had made this first major purchase number eight have you learned anything new in 2013 like I said in the beginning I learned so much about myself I learned that I'm much more resilient than I thought I learned that I am much more determined than I thought um, you know in the past I didn't even believe that I could make it through a fitness program like I just I don't know for some reason I didn't believe I had it in me and now I've made it through multiple programs I made it through multiple like nutrition programs and I just learned that I've learned belief in myself above all I really believed that I am what I make myself to be it's all in the power of my mindset and how I control certain situations and Life is life is going to happen according to how I want it to happen. Of course, you know, I believe that I kind of have a destiny and that my life is going to go a certain way naturally, but I am making choices that ultimately will affect my destiny. And my so my just 2013 has been such a year of growth for me. It sounds so cheesy, and if you follow me on Facebook, you've probably noticed it as well, but I definitely would say that for sure. Number 9, any new obsessions? Okay, so this isn't really a new obsession, but it's kind of fresh on my mind obsession. Um, we are hopefully going to be moving back to our home state this year. My husband is supposed to be getting out of the Marine Corps. And so I have just been obsessed, obsessed, like I cannot stop thinking about it, of the idea of settling down. And we've purchased two homes in the past. We own two homes right now. But the thought of purchasing the house that we are going to raise our children in for the rest of their lives until they're out of the home and just having that house and decorating and, and even more so, I am in a business where I like to inspire others and I like to make others feel the success and the happiness and the fulfillment that I feel. So I'm constantly thinking of things that I'm going to do in that house, events that I'm going to have, like things as little as like cookie swap parties and Christmas parties and just like fit clubs and book clubs and everything. Like I am obsessed with the thought of settling down and like creating a feeling of love in the community, creating a space where people feel hope and people know that they can come to. And I'm so excited for that and so obsessed with the idea. I can't wait to make it a reality and stop with the obsession because honestly it's driving me kind kind of crazy. Number 10, have you started any new collections? I don't believe so. I haven't, I don't know, I don't think so. Mm. Oh, you know what? I have started this year. My kids are now at the age where they do a lot more like crafts at school. So I would say this year I started really collecting Christmas decorations for the house. Me and my daughter made some. She brought a bunch home from school. So I've started create or I started collecting my children's 
art to keep for years to come to decorate my home for the holidays. So there you go. Number 11, is 2013 your favorite year? Why or why not? Without a doubt, hands down, yes. That is alongside the years, you know, where I birthed my children and I got married to my husband. Those are obviously going to forever be in my heart as like the best days of my life. But this year, like I said, has just been a year of tremendous growth, a tremendous belief in myself. And it's the first year that I closed out and I was like, that was a good year. I feel like I really succeeded and I feel good about myself and about the future. So yes, 2013 was a phenomenal year and I cannot wait to see what happens in 2014. And I want you to be here to join me to see where we go. Number 12, what month was your favorite this year? Um, I honestly, I don't, I don't think there was a favorite month. They were all so great. I guess if I had to pick one, I would say October because that's when we went back to our home state to celebrate my daughter's birthday and my brother-in-law got married and it was just it was a lot of fun it was our first road trip with our kids um it was it was it was just fun it was a good month so October I guess I'd say October is a good month this year 13 what is your new year's resolution honestly I keep thinking that I have to like pinpoint a you know a real resolution but I don't really feel like I have to I guess if I Think about what I want to accomplish this year, not going into too much detail because I have specific goals that I want to accomplish. But I just want to continue to grow my network and continue to inspire and, and reach out to new people, meet new people, have new people watch my videos that can learn something and feel inspired and just being present with that. And um, also just continuing to grow as a person, continuing with my self-development. I, you know, I made a promise to myself to try and listen to one self-development audiobook per week because I really just want to continue to grow and have even more belief in myself and teach others you know that are under me under my leadership to believe in me as well so that is the tag that is the goodbye 2013 tag it has been the most incredible year of my entire life and I hope that by watching my videos you've had a little bit of inspiration this year and you maybe have made some changes to your health and diet and just mindset and that 2014 is an incredible year for you because you have made this year beyond amazing for me. Part of what has come in my life and the mentality that I have set has come from you guys and the support and the encouragement and the kind messages and I am forever grateful and I will never ever forget this year and forget that you played a huge part in it. I hope you like this tag. I hope it kind of gives you a little insight into my year. Please give it a big thumbs up if you like it and leave your comments down below answering some of the questions or just telling me, you know, your favorite thing about 2013 and what you hope to achieve by 2014. And also today is the last day to enter my fitness giveaway. You are going to want to enter that and you are going to want to win that. So I will link that video down below as well. Hope you guys are having a beautiful start to the new year, and I will talk to you later. Bye.